So I spent about an hour this afternoon walking around, picking up all the plastic that I could find out of the dead albatross chicks and the boluses that they pop up. Um, I've kind of laid it out here based on just kind of different categories of the stuff that I found. The fishing gear is what you would expect to find. Lines get broken and floats get lost and stuff like this. So this, this type of stuff isn't quite so surprising. If you aren't a fisherman, you're probably feeling pretty good about yourself right now. You're thinking, okay, this isn't my fault. So now I'm gonna pick on the smokers. These are all lighters. And if you're a golfer, here's some golf balls, roller balls that come in your deodorant. We have all these kids' toys, a bunch of combs and brushes. So if you guys drink juice in the morning, here's a glue stick, a few glue sticks actually. Here's a little gun, which is kind of fitting for midway, I guess. Everyone knows Santa Claus. Some print cartridges. If you think about how big the albatrosses are and how big their necks are, this is about the same size. It's amazing that they can even get these things down. It can't be very comfortable for them. And then the next one, we have a bunch of pens that have made it over here. There's a bunch of toothpicks. This is somewhat of a monstrosity. Door handles, clothes pins. It's a baby rattle. There's still actually a lip balm in it. I wouldn't want to use it. If I was an albatross, I don't think that I would like to swallow this. Still, if you've made it this far without thinking that something that you use has become a problem, the toothbrushes should get you because I know that everybody uses toothbrushes. Every single piece of this plastic that we've pulled out of the albatross colonies has come here in an albatross. It hasn't washed up on the beach. It hasn't been dumped here by humans. It came here inside a bird. I don't, I don't think that people actually realize on a day-to-day -day basis what the impact actually is. We did this, we, we all did this to them and it's just horrid, it's horrifying. Throw away living may be profitable, but the consequences are intolerable. It's certainly, um, uh, a problem for everyone and it will require all facets of society to solve it. The ocean itself eventually will spit this stuff out, but we have to stop putting it in. If we don't stop putting it in, it will never be able to spit it all out. And that's the situation we're in right now.